Hi and welcome. Today I will show you how to create this amazing mockup inside of Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started just after this. My name is Ricardo Stefan. I'm a graphic designer, I'm a digital artist and a photographer. Let me just for one minute show you what we're gonna create today. Uh, we will be creating this thing today. <laughs> Let me be clear about this. Uh, in fact, this is the original image and what we're gonna do, we're gonna place this young lady inside of this. In fact, uh, mockups are very, very useful when you have to present something especially personally for me as a graphic designer, I usually have to present mockups like t-shirts, caps, like uh, business cards, especially after creating the logo of uh, different people or different companies. So using mockups is the best way to show the person how that will look in real life. And today I will show you exactly how to do this simple yet very professional uh, mock-up inside of Photoshop. Let's get started now. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, let me just close this. Okay, no, don't save this. Okay, uh, we're first gonna analyze this, uh, the base image that we got. As you can see, we got this, uh, this image and we have a kind of, uh, kind of pinkish uh, tint over the image. One of the, the most important things also to do when you're working with mockups is to analyze the image and to see the direction of light. For example, uh, let me just show you this, just one minute. You will notice that light is coming in that direction. So we will take that into consideration. We should see the shadow here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make sure that we uh, we place the image here inside of this in the best possible way. So let me just uh, show you what we're gonna be using. First of all, this is the image we're gonna use and we will work on it so that we can make the image match into this. Uh, when we talk about matching the image into this, let, let me be clear about this. You will notice that this image has got the kind of orangish or yellowish tint over it overall. We will correct this to make it fit this simple like light pink uh, tint or grading in this image. Let me show you what, I, what, what I'm talking about. First of all, I will convert it, convert this into smart object. Okay, and then I will drag this and just release it here. Another way to do that, let me do this. I will, of course, select it, go to edit, copy, then go to the image you want to paste it into, then you come to edit, and you click paste, you will get basically the same uh, result. Well, let me just explain, uh, explain one thing about smart objects. What we will do, we are creating a mockup that uh, will allow us later to replace the content. For example, if ever I want to place it here and I want to, to replace this photo later, we will be able to do that through smart object, through this smart object. And another uh, important thing is that smart object, uh, when you place them, you resize it, uh, resizing it down. Uh, or you're resizing it up, it will maintain the resolution of the pixel uh, values of the image. Okay, let's not get into much details. We're gonna do that in another episode, but let's concentrate on what we had to do today. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I've already converted that to smart object, drag it here. I will, first of all, just resize this just a little bit. Let's first of all resize it. We can zoom in control, control command plus to zoom. Let me just 
uh, to zoom uh, in a proportional way if you're using older versions. By the way, I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2020. If you're using older versions, you will have to hold shift. But in the latest version, you don't have you don't have to the whole shift to uh, constrain the proportion when you're resizing okay if you're using older versions please use the shift key then you click and drag okay let's resize this down let's come here i will zoom in just a little bit okay so that i can do a precise work uh we will come here and uh just resize this here and here come uh, the, the the useful this useful trick the technique okay as you can see as you can see if i if i resize this like this i can do this i can do you know i will never get this perfectly unless that was a perfect frame of perfectly i don't know squared or rectangular frame in that case it's not the case here it's not the case because uh, there is the best perspective of that image. So what we will do, I will place this edge right here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to press command or control on my keyboard. You see, yeah, it's, it's, it's no more double arrow, uh, those black double arrow icon, but it turns into a white one. And that indicates that I can select a point and drag it like this. Look at that. Okay, I will do that for all the sides. Okay, pressing command or control on my keyboard. Click and drag like this. Make sure that it's uh, properly placed. Let's review this a little bit so that we have the border. And we're going to have some effect to this to make it look real okay. Okay, now. Here we go. Replace it. The work is not done. Let me explain that. As you can see, this image it does not match the uh, the colors in this image. This is a light pink, but this is kind of yellowish, or if you want, orange. Good mockups, successful mockups, uh, need to be realistic. You 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 believe me? Uh, it it need to be realistic. So what we're gonna do? We will use two things. First of all. We will uh, uh, color correct this this photo precisely, uh, only this photo. Then we will add a general color grading to the image to make sure that everything fit together. Let's first of all uh, add some color grading to this image. For this, I will come down here in my adjustments button. I will select a color balance, okay, and I will just try to. I will try to push things in just, you see this? It's slowly thinning down, but let's make sure the image is not that blue. Uh, maybe about here. Uh, let's go, you see, I'm going a little bit outside of this, but let's go about here. Uh, I don't want this red too much. Let me go here and uh, maybe about here and uh, to make sure that this effect applies only to this layer i will click on this button okay now as you can see it applies only to it applies it applies only to this layer but let me just add some more red to this because i believe that it's not fitting properly okay now if i want to if I want to correct it, to modify it, we'll do that later. The second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come here. I will add a curves adjustment layer, but this time to the overall image. So what I'm going to do, let me just move this down a little bit. And by the way, if you want to get started with Photoshop, I've got a course called Adobe Photoshop CC, how to edit your first photo. The course is available on Skillshare. You can have it right now uh, for two months. You can watch it for two months, three, free without paying anything. Just uh, follow the link in the description. The course is also available on Udemy. You can uh, grab the link in the description and access it. You can have access to it forever. And uh, uh, we're gonna have so much fun in this course. And uh, I took time to prepare a great course for you.
you can join me if you want to learn a little bit more or get started with Photoshop. Also, if you want to have my premium images, you can get it on Shutterstock. It's available there. You have a great selection of uh, my photos, my landscape photos especially. You can uh, go there and you can access it. You can download it, you can buy it and uh, have them to use in your projects or I don't know, whatever. Let's go into the red. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push the reds just a little bit like this. Okay, a little bit like this. I will go into the blues and I will try to decrease the yellows just a bit. Look at that. Okay. Well, very good. Okay, then I can come here and just try to try to make things look a little bit better uh, to match my things a little bit more. Just about here and about here. I think we get it. Okay. I think now it's fine. So uh, the next thing we're going to do, it's, uh, you will believe me, uh, it's kind of flat, but let's add the, the touch. Let me first of all show you this. We will group this. Just give me a second. Just group this. Uh, look at that. As I was saying, uh, look at the shadow here and this part of the shadow here. That's what we get. That's that's what will add the realism to this image. What we're gonna do? We're gonna come here. Let's go into the effects. We're gonna add. Maybe you already guessed it. A drop shadow uh, to this. Let me cancel. Let, let, let's let's rather add an inner shadow. I think the inner shadow will be better. You will agree with me, okay? Okay, let's add an inner shadow. And what we're gonna do, uh, we will click and drag this. I want to move the shadow to this border here to kind of, you know, just click and drag. And let's just make sure that it appears a little bit more to the top of this, okay? Then I can control the opacity here, and I don't know, we just move it down. About here, okay. Do maybe the distance maybe about here. Very, very good. Okay, let's do this. We got this, and then the last thing I'm gonna do to this image, I will come here. Let's uh, say um, filter blur, Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur. What I'm gonna do is to Blur this just slightly to match. I mean, you will see this, you will see the other things in this image is slightly blurred. So that cannot be that, uh, that sharp. It looks unrealistic. So what we're going to do, I will add some, a little blur to the image to about, maybe about to here. Okay. Maybe about here. I think that's fine. Okay. Okay, press OK, and now look at that. I've got my mockup just like this. I've added this inside here. But if I wanted to put it into the small one here, I could do that. But I prefer to place it right inside of this frame. So I've got this. Now you might be asking yourself, well, you've got this. What if I want to change it? Here is the cool part. Okay, let's get into that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna open another image and then I will place it into the smart object. Let me explain that, let's be clear about this. Okay, let me, let's open this. If I double click onto this, you will see that I get the original picture inside of another file. You, you, you see here, the layer, and so on. It's open. This is the original, the, the original file. Smart objects act also like sort of containers and they can hold images, text, and so on and so forth. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work inside of this. Uh, if we want to modify, for example, we want to modify this, we will have to do it inside of this smart object. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got a second image here. 
uh, I will convert it to smart object. By the way, uh, if you want those images, every image is being used in this tutorial. You can check that down in the description. Okay, let's do that. Okay, what I'm gonna do, like I did before, okay, uh, I will either uh, edit, copy, or I can simply click and drag, and I will release it here. Let's place it here, and what I'm gonna do, I'm going to resign this. Let's put it a little bit bigger, maybe like this. Enter, or you can click on this. Don't forget to save. I will save the work file, save to save this file. Okay, just give it a second save. Beautiful, and look at that magic. Bang, we got this thing modified, and we have our smart object. Okay, guys, that's what well, that was all for this uh, tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button below. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, it's bye bye from me.